Hello everyone, it's Papa Legos here again, one more time with Mess Papa Legos Answer You. And we have a new question today. Uh, check it out. Take the opportunity to subscribe to the channel, please. Send us some suggestions with your questions, whatever us you want us to do it. Okay, the channel it's gonna be built on your questions, okay guys. So I'm doing this to help as many people as I can. So send your suggestions. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much and let's go for it. Hello guys, to answer today's questions again, uh, I'm gonna start with a nice ladain for you. So, actually, a question, isn't it? It's just about it is, but it's not. It's like the uh, etiquettes that we can have in, in Capoeira. And why I sang this song? Because this song talks about how difficult it is to live in nowadays world. Whatever you do, you criticize. If you eat too much, you you know you 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 committing a sin. If you don't eat enough, you know you're being you know uh, trying to say things that you shouldn't. So. Uh, what would I say for you? Be on the safe side wherever you go. Okay. First of all, I think every house has their own rules, their own rituals, and we should respect. So your house, you know, I always uh, use the analogy to your own personal house. You know, no one comes to your house and change the TV from where where it is, you know, or change your sofa, you know. So the same thing should be. You go to someone else's house. And the way they do the bateria is not up to you to, to change anything. So if you don't like it, like, you know, you don't like to visit someone's house, you don't go to their house. That's mainly it. But if you are in a house, you should respect. And of course, it goes totally against what you believe and you want to, you wanna, you know, argue about that. It's up to you. But then that's where the politics starts, isn't it? So there are some simple rules that I give to my students that it, to keep you safe, okay? In the Capoeira Angola world, in the contemporary world, in the Capoeira regional world, okay? So I'm gonna go like random and then, you know, if you have any more questions, you just ask after, okay? For example, let's start with the Capoeira Angola world, okay? So the bateria of Capoeira Angola, there's a few lineages you can follow. Nowadays, from, from what I see, that's very strong lineage that's going is from Mestre, João Grande, from Mestre João Pequeno, from Mestre Ananias, in terms of the bateria setup, né? in terms like what we did in Bao play. Normally, it plays Angola in the Gunga, São Bento Grande, São Bento Pequeno in the Medio, and São Bento Grande Angola in the Viola. Okay? So that's how it starts. So it starts Gunga, Medio, Viola, then the Pandeiros starts, okay? Then the drum, and they're go go and they have to in some houses is the, the drum is the last one to start and some houses this one saying observe don't don't do it until you told if let's say if you're not go go and the master sing a ladainha and some masters don't like to play the go go only the birimbaos some masters allow you to go birimbaos and pandeiros 
Okay? And some masks is allowed. Mirimbau, pandeiros, a gogo, reco, rec. The tabaco only starts when the louvação starts. What's the louvação? It's after the ye. Yeah? Ye, viva meu Deus, camará. Ye, viva meu Deus, camará. Then the tabaco starts. Again, pay attention. Some masses like the corridos to start. Paranauê, Paranauê. And then the atabaco starts. You see what I'm saying? There's some rules that are, are there. But of course, it all depends from house to house. So if you go to a different house, follow, you know, the lead of the people. So always watch the messy. And that's that's the important thing. So in Capoeira Angola, there is no squatting on the foot of the Birimbau. You should wait outside. And normally, if you go to the very traditional Capoeira Angola schools, the master even choose whoever's going to play. So you don't have to worry about even being close to the bateria because it does not necessarily mean you're going to play. Okay? So that's one of the rules of the, the Capoeira Angola. Another thing, the chamadas. Yeah? People say, oh, should we do chamadas for older, older, uh, older capoeiristas? Normally, not. Again, go to the safe side. Yeah, wait for the older master, for the older, uh, for the advanced per, per student to give you a chamada first. You can do it, like I, you know, you can do whatever you want, but then you, you are you ready to take the consequences of it? This is very important, okay? So no, I, in my personal point, I say to my students, don't, don't uh, do a chamada for an older, for an older capoeirista, and don't do a chamada if you're not comfortable with it as well. Don't use a chamada like all the masses say. Don't use a chamada to rest. If you're tired, give your hand. Sometimes the students play advanced uh, capoeirista and they get so tired and then they think, oh, I'm going to do a chamada so I rest. And then it's even more disrespectful. Okay? So you should give your hand and say, okay, I'm, not, I'm done. I cannot take it. And leave the hold. Okay? So for the, for the sitting down and hold as well, there's some masses that are very strict about that. So you shouldn't cross your legs. Yeah, so when you sit, you shouldn't do this. You're always trying to sit with your legs open. So that's why many masters are nowadays, they put benches so the students feel comfortable, so they don't have to be like in a very awkward position. But if you're in the situation that you're sitting down on the floor, don't cross your legs. Some masters don't like that. Again, it's not my rules. It's rules that I heard. Why? And I, I try to keep my students safe wherever they go so they know how to behave and that they're not told off by the master because I didn't tell them. Okay, then if they are told off by the master, then they understand that I already told them. And this is my, my duty here to tell my students what to do in every situation. Okay, so I think that's the mo most of the little details you have in Capoeira Angola. Of course, the next is go and experience. And uh, from Capoeira Regional, with one beating bow and two pandeiros, not the contemporary Capoeira, guys, because the contemporary Capoeira is a bit more open. You can buy in, you can, some groups let you buy from the, uh, behind, uh, uh, behind the hoda, you don't need to necessarily go to the foot of the Birimbao. Some groups, you do a volta ao mundo before you enter the hoda. And then again, just observe and watch and respect, that, uh, you know, it's a ritual from that house. But Capoeira Regional, traditional Capoeira Regional, let's say you're going to visit, you know, Messi Nenel, Messi Bimba Sun, and then, you know, there, is, there are rules in the Capoeira Regional, which is like you do not put your head on the floor at all. You start the game with an AU and you finish the game with an AU. And also there is no cutting in the game, okay? And, you know, it's one berimbau and two pandeiros. And you start with a quadra instead of a ladainha. And go louvação as well, which instead of going IE, they say E. Okay? E, e, viva meu Deus, camara. Okay? And that's it. I think these are the main ones that you should worry about. And I hope I, can, I helped. If you have any more questions, just send it to me, please. Okay? And again, be safe, be healthy, and keep training hard. Thank you.